to read Matthew 27. Are you Matthew 27? From verse 11. To 11. To 14. Jesus. Now Jesus stood before Pilate, the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of Jews? In affirmation, Jesus said to him, It is as you say. But when the charges were brought against him by the chief priests and elders, he did not answer. Then Pilate said to him, do you not fear how many things they are testifying against you? But Jesus did not reply to him, not even to a single accusation, so that the governor was greatly astonished. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Today, I want us to go back. We look at humility. Humility. The moment when you understand who you are in Christ, you'll be free from pride and arrogance. In everyone in the world, there's a feeling of superiority. Superiority over other people. We are all born with pride. It's only when Christ is in us. That self-worth that self-importance better than others we take it away from us. If you are here today I want to tell you what is causing limitation. Is when you see others you feel they are smaller than you. By doing that, you have arrived. Humility is a way that does not have a limit. A way up that cannot be blocked. Jesus had that humility. Where we have read, we can see that Pilate was understanding the whole story. When Jesus stood before Pilate, when the Jews were accusing him, Pilate asked Jesus, Are you not answering? Are you not answering? Jesus knew that if we can answer, he'll be talking about his self-worth. And this can affect his destiny. He knew that if he can answer, the purpose of God will fail. Because here Pilate was having a problem. Why are you not answering? Why we now suffer Answer. Fetula. You know, I, I had many incidents. Kibile lima baka manchi. And then until I read this. Ofite laki ova la linchile. That the more you can answer. Ore hanchi au katoma uchona ofetula. Defend yourself. Ore uti bulele le uti sirileche. Already you found your own reward. Ora uruse chuto ziwa hau mupozo. Jesus knew that if he can answer Pilate, Jesus na tse borahanga fetu la Pilato. He won't go to the cross. Akasa ya kutenya sfapan. Because his aim was, I have to go. Taba ya ha ineli ya ureke suncho ya sfapano. Can you read verse thirteen? Arevaleng malawo verse thirteen. It says, then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? Can you hear that? 
When you are a child of God, how le wanomu dem? You will reach this level. Oto fita si mongse. How many things are against you? Kinto cheka hiche ba di bulelang katanong liwen. How many things are said against you? Kinto cheka hiche ba di bulelang katanong liwen. When you hear that, so now how we do it, Rabache? What is your response? Wa raba wa ringwen. Listen to this. Tell it, Chang. Jesus taught us that we must be silent. Jesus sorry, Ruti le ora re humule. If we read Philippians two, Arba la boka yaba Philippi chapter two. Let's read from verse two. Arba le ngutwa o verse two. Ba Philippi chapter two, Arba le ngutwa verse two. Make my joy complete by being of the same mind, having the same love towards one another. Knit together in spirit, intent on one purpose, and living a life that reflects your faith and spreads the gospel, the good news regarding salvation through faith in Christ. Carry on reading, Mama. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, through functional motives or strife. But with an attitude of humility, being neither arrogant nor self-righteous. What is affecting us today? We are failing to be having the same mind. There is competition among us. There is no unity. Our Lord Jesus, he said, I pray that we become one. Because oneness tells us that a challenge of someone is your challenge. If you want to be one with someone, already you will exercise humility. Can you see the reasons why we have people we defend? There are people we fight against without information. Paul says, I pray that you have one mind. One purpose. You are working towards one day. Humility tells you that oneness is important. Having one purpose. Because look here. The reason why there's a fight among us, among married people, is when another one is having a different vision. But if you have got one purpose, one goal, goal when another one fails, you will help another one. You are in a journey that all of you will celebrate when you come. Read verse 3. Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit. Can you hear a problem now? Doing something because of selfishness. Lydia di lokaleba kalami habaru. Empty conceit. Kaleba kalaur le lebele chiche di singhona. You become conceited with something that does not benefit your spirit. Your prayer is to prove someone that is weaker than you. Do nothing. Get away from this. Read verse 3, Mama. Or empty contents, concept through factional motives or strife, uh -huh. but with an attitude of humility, being neither arrogant nor self-righteous. Regard. Can you hear that? With the attitude of humility. Kata ba yau iko kobe cha muho iko kobe cha. Me, I'm better than you. You are better than me. Your weakness needs my strength. My weakness needs your strength. You cannot laugh at anybody. If you reach that level, 
Humility tells you that your brother is giving you a solution. The person might not be having anything that you have, but you need that person. Carry on reading, Mama. Being neither arrogant nor self righteous, regard others as more important than yourself. Can you hear that? That is humility. It teaches you that you look at the interests of others that you regard others better than yourself. When someone is becoming better, you celebrate. When you see someone succeeding, you celebrate because you know your God will take you there. If you don't trust this God, is when someone succeeds now, you begin to say, no, this is blood money. You begin to name it. But if you know your God can do this, you will celebrate because you know you are the next. When you are looking at the interests of others, and you are happy when they succeed, God will organize the best for you to come. Just really continue, Mama. Do not merely look out for your own personal interest, uh -huh. but also for the interests of others. Have this same attitude in yourselves, which was in Christ Jesus. Look to him as your example in selfless humility. Can you stop there, Mama? It shows that Even humility we it's a temporal state for your victory. A temporal assignment for that victory. You are, you, are, you, are, you are in a place where it's like nothing is happening. It's temporal. When you just carry on with, in that stage in in that assignment, very soon, there will be victory. Let me prophesy someone who is listening to me. You are going through tough times. And already you are giving up. I want to tell you that you are on the last lane of your victory. You are on the last lane. You are about to break through. There's a breakthrough. There's a wall that is falling right now. As you are here today, the wall in front of you is going down. And there's a victory. And you are going through. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Do you know when Jesus was on the cross, the man on the right was representing us. But the man on the left was representing Satan. Jesus never answered the man on the left. Do not answer the man on the left. You have got nothing to do with him. You have got nothing to do with the discouragement. The one who is speaking negative. The one who is discouraging you. Take your focus to where you are going. Carry on with your humanity. Obeying God. Saving him. Without looking at the reason. And God of mercy will see you through. This year you are about to be something that your friend never thought. You know, you know what humility does? That's what we call it. It positions you. In a, in a place where you have to be outdated. Sometimes when people look at you, they see you like you're a fool. 
Because they don't know you are connected. It's only when on the last day when God began to lift you up. I don't know if you are hearing it. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? It's the humility that makes you like you're a coward. It's like you are defeated. You don't know way, a way out. It's humility. Listen, if you don't want to reach the level of humility, because you are afraid of what people will say, you cannot be what God wants you to be. You cannot be what God wants you to because where you are, you are calling it a blessing. But someone has already passed. That. Where you are staying, where you call a suburb, there are people who are seeing it as a village. So you cannot be there as if you are there forever. I don't know if you are hearing me. Read Proverbs 22. Verse 4. Verse 4. Proverbs 22, verse 4. The reward of humility that is having a realistic view of one's importance. The reverent, worshipful fear of the Lord is riches, honor, and life. Riches, Hallelujah. honor, and life. That is humility for you. You can still have money without honor, without life. Humility makes you to have honor and life. There's life when that God, God has prepared for you. Allow him to humble you. Allow the situation that we are facing to make him to seek him. People, you, they will think you are from somewhere. Whereas is from God. I see a blessing following you. There's honor that is coming your way. There is life that is coming your way. How many of you believe that there is honor? How you treat people, it matters. If you want to succeed in life, deal with your character. If you want to succeed in life, deal with your character. You need to humble yourself. And the Lord will lift you. I see some people here. When you leave this service, God wants you to deal with your character. Some of you, you are short tempered for that. Some of you, you just have arguments for that. Humility is needed. Just go down. Be humble. Don't lose anything. 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 Be humble. Don't this is the time of humility. Why are we working? Why are we What is the reasons why we work? We work for them. Humility is needed. It must start in your house. It will go outside. I don't know if you're hearing me. If you don't have humility in your house, what about outside there? Insult people outside. You will treat people in a wrong way. Outside. Testament says, hey, humility is needed. Proverbs 18, verse 12. Before disaster, the heart of a man is haughty and filled with self importance. Did you but hear that verse? Stop there. Did you hear that verse? 
It's a sign Isika. of showing that the bad things are coming. Sa ubon chorichem pidieta. Self-important. Ubona wena ule utoko fitala. Disaster is on the road. Awa disaster is leng. Can you read? Continue, Mama. But humility comes before honor. You hear that? Before God lift you up, you will really go down. You will humble yourself. I've been tempted a lot because of the truth that I have. I wanted to tell people the truth. But God said no. Don't do that. Don't defend yourself. Leave your battles to me. And honor will come. It's not good to be hurt by people. It's not good to face rejection. It's not good to what you are going through. But take everything to God. Take everything to God. God will remember you. I see this week something will happen to you. Can you read James 4 verse 10? James 4 verse 10. Jacob 4 verse 10. Humble yourself with an attitude of repentance and insignificance in the presence of the Lord. And he will exalt you. He will lift you up. He will give you purpose. Humility makes you to have purpose from God. Purpose is not what you you find by yourself. He will exalt you. And give you purpose. He will exalt you. Can you read that verse again, Mama? Verse 10. Humble yourselves with an attitude of repentance and insignificance. Yes. In the presence of the Lord. And he will exalt you. He will lift you up. He will give you purpose. Purpose. Morero. We see you. We know you by your purpose. Purpose is there. For you that after you have passed. We still see your grandchildren benefiting. If, in other words, you will live a life and you become example. God wants to make you example. Life of purpose. God wants to make you an example. Humble yourself. Humility is needed. You know, in my family, I've started my own generation. My own generation. My, my, my grandchildren now. You know, they are making me to love. They are making, you know, my grandson today. They, they call me Yaya. Yaya. So I will see my grandson coming there. I was like, Can you dance? He began to dance. You can, you can see him there. You can see him there. When he's dancing, sometimes you, even this girl, they will be saying, Hi, ah. We started I, I, generation. Your children, when they are growing, they are growing. Your grandchildren, just like that. Check what your children are doing. If they are misled, disobeying, don't get out of control. Stay humble. Something is entering them bit by bit. I don't know if you are hearing Sometimes you will find that 
Your, your children are going out of way. They must not affect your humility. When they are looking at you, don't think they are not thinking. They know who you are. You are putting something in them. That will work them out on yeah, their way. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me. Humility is needed. The purpose of God will come. I, I see the purpose of God. I see the purpose of God. I see God lifting something.